Hi, my name is Jason Mears and I'm going to take you through VMware Enterprise Blockchain, a high level overview. So the roots of blockchain began around about 1998 when an American computer scientist called Leslie Lamport released the paper. Amongst other things, it said it was a, a method for creating an electronic ledger that could be used for signing documents in a way that could easily show that none of the signed documents in the collection had been changed or modified. His original intention was to have a, 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 a method of having documents that could be uh, edited by multiple people in a government or a central authority that could be then combined into a, into a finished document and there would be proof that it hadn't been tampered with or adjusted al along the way so he was going to put some governance and provenance around electronic documents for government. Um, another thing that happened was in 2008-2009 some of the features mentioned in Leslie Lamport's paper and several other cryptographic concepts were also used to create the technology we now know as Bitcoin. Um, so Bitcoin was described originally as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system the paper around Bitcoin was uh, authored by someone or some uh, a group of individuals called Satoshi Nakamoto. So this is a pseudonym for, pseudonym for either an individual or a group of individuals, but to this day the author has never been identified. Uh, another thing that happened on top of the blockchain that we had already was something called smart contracts and a, and a guy called Nick Zabo coined the term in 1994 to describe a way that there could be a contract uh, built into the blockchain and just an electronic version of a contract. So just as a, a, a paper contract would say, if you do this, I'll do that, or if this happens, this happens. This would be a, a version of a contract stored electronically, but also self-fulfilling. So when the when the terms and conditions were met at one end, uh, an action or an automation would take place at the other end. And in 2014-2015, uh, Vitalik Buterin incorporated these smart contracts into another blockchain technology called Ethereum. Um, and again, this smart contract just allows a, an automatic electronic automation of business logic or processes without any human intervention. So although it was originally thought about and deployed to the cryptocurrency blockchains, businesses very soon realized that this kind of had some benefit in a, in a commercial sense. So those three things that I mentioned once they all came together uh, the combination of securing and verifying data in a tamper proof and tamper resistant manner uh, created a creating a distributed system between organizations and consortiums and automating business processes through smart contracts um, definitely got the interest of many businesses and CIOs However, most of the examples of this, again, were, were cryptocurrency type examples. And using a, a blockchain designed for cryptocurrency in a business has a couple of problems that need to be addressed. The, the first of these is that most of the cryptocurrency blockchains, by their nature, are public and permissionless, which is not a great idea for a, for a business or a corporation that has uh, sensitive uh, information. Uh, because they use a, a technology known as proof of work and, and a technology known as mining, there are high equipment costs and along with those high equipment costs come things like high energy costs and also things like slow transaction times. So just as an example on the Bitcoin network, um, the Bitcoin network is only able to process seven transactions a second worldwide, which isn't a problem so much for a cryptocurrency, but would be a problem for a, for a business. And one of the other problems with that transaction time is that every transaction is, is put into a block. Blocks take around about 10 minutes to generate and you need to have a, a fair amount of blocks created in order for you to be sure that your transaction has actually been committed and is not going to change. Um, another problem is most of the cryptocurrency blockchains are designed to be undeletable or immutable which is not a problem for a cryptocurrency but can cause you problems when you're bound by legislation like GDPR or general data protection legislation so I guess what we're saying here is blockchains are a good idea but using a cryptocurrency blockchain in a business environment can have its problems so one of the things that VMware has been working on for a couple of years now is a, is a business class blockchain under a, a project we have called Project Concord. And, and this tackles some of those problems head on. So one of the things that we've got in Project Concord is it's a private permission based blockchain. So only people who are allowed or members of the consortium can, can see uh, any of that data and the data itself is permission based as well. So there, there are various levels of access control on that data. 
because we don't use um, the proof of work algorithm used by Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, there are low equipment costs. costs. Because of that, there are also lower energy costs, um, fast transaction times. So we're talking less than a split second per transaction, or you know, a couple of seconds at most. Uh, confirmation is pretty much instant. Um, you're not waiting 10 minutes to bundle up the transaction and then waiting for 10, 5 to 10 of those transactions to make sure nothing's going to change. It is pretty much committed, again, split second or a couple of seconds. And the um, Concord blockchain has been designed to work within GDPR requirements. So again, that, that technology that VMware have been working on for the last couple of years was released at VMware 18 uh, US uh, in 28, uh, VMware 2018 in the US, um, and we call it Project Concord. And if I was to summarize that in a, in, in a single statement, I would say it's got all the power and features of blockchain, but it's been designed from the ground up by VMware for use in enterprise environments and consortiums. So that was the um, high level introduction to blockchain. Uh, I hope you found out some of that useful. Um, thank you very much for your time.